I'm singing in the rain in Venice. It's my third trip to Venice, my first in the rain, and it's not exactly the kind of weather we were hoping for. The good thing is that it was intermittent, but to be honest, when we arrive in Venice, it has to be a thrill, especially as Nate and I have great memories of our first trip here. And the last time for me was with Rachel and my sister Sharon and Edward. So we're hyped. And there's the Grand Canal. My philosophy is to make the best of what we have. As Mickey Mouse once said, when life deals you a lemon, make lemonade. Well, we have an opportunity to shoot Venice in the rain, something we never had before. So it's gonna be a, a new adventure. Actually arriving at the railway station, this was right where Nate and I stayed. And it was a thrill to see it again and brought back memories. Our first meal was right here. The Continental Hotel where we stayed even our room up there. And my favorite place in the whole of Venice, the veranda of the Continental Hotel where we ate breakfast and had an excellent latte every morning. But today was a different experience. Rain. Fortunately, Venice is a very interesting place. And simply to walk around, even in the rain, is a fascinating experience. Especially as there's always something going on. The bridges, the boats. This must be the way to the well. Or maybe it's the guest house. And here's the antique shop with old Jewish books. Maybe Maimonides' Life and Beyond in pictures. It was he who said, Give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. It was Nate who added, Buy a man an air ticket and he'll fly for a day. Push him out of the plane and he'll fly for the rest of his life. One historic place we'd missed on my two previous visits was the fabled Jewish ghetto of Shakespeare notoriety in which, to be sure, Edward de Vere would never have set foot. The old Italian synagogue, one of five in Venice at the time, where Shylock prayed before he converted to Christianity for money. Shakespeare understood human nature. Fifteen eighty nine was the year the Jews were officially welcomed to Venice. This ghetto is where they lived, and this is where they met together each Sabbath. Still raining. Venice in the rain is a new experience. The other place we'd missed on two previous visits was Burano, the island of colorful houses and interesting canals. We walked over to where we could board the Vaporetto, the water bus. Nate planned the route which inevitably is interesting. Venice is like Norway in this respect. Getting there is half the fun. The journey always enthralling. The place is unbelievably photogenic. Thank you. 
centuries-old buildings all around. We're loving it. Wish you were here. It's not raining under here. Under the Ponte del Gugli, with the gargoyles, Classic Venice. Memories of past trips filling our minds. Past the ghetto, fun in the rain. I have to say, in spite of the weather, it was very enjoyable. Nate and I shared memories, chatted, planned how we were going to get back to the ship, and looked forward to seeing Burano whilst enjoying the sights before us. These trips are special. Next stop, Murano, then Burano. I'm looking forward to this.